Hi everyone, it's Bill and Wendy with Carolina Capital Management. Hola. By the way, don't forget, like, share, love. Me. Download. In particular. <laughs> we have other archived <laughs> videos, by the way, depending on the platform that you're on. It's going to be to the top, to the bottom, to the side. It might just pop up at the end. Yeah. Who the heck knows? Yeah, it might find it. Carolina so. Capital Management. CarolinaHardMoney.com. Tell all your friends. We, we're here with our great friend, V. She is one of our wonderful borrowers. And, and a dear a, friend, a, a, a very a, dear friend. A, Thank you. A great conversation with her. I, I am so amazed at how she got started. And I'm going to let her tell the story. Don't worry. I knew her when she was a nobody. <laughs> um, when we first met, she was really good at finding great deals. Big acquisitions. In mm -hmm. the Charlotte market. And unfortunately, they never met the box that she was placed in where she was working. And then she got smart, smart. enough to <laughs> say, well, I'm really good at this. I'm going to do it myself. Yeah. Right? And then she really started making money. So what got you into the real estate? Yeah, what were you thinking? <laughs> I always wanted to do real estate. And I was just thinking, you know what, I, I need to just start networking and working under people that knew what they were doing and you guys obviously knew what you were doing yeah some and people think so <laughs> not very many i think so i think so so i started off with wholesaling and this is what you guys taught and with with larry and i learned that and i thought you know what there's more ways to grow in this business and i can do it i think i think i can and i have the people that can help me get there right so I saw the opportunity from you guys and the experience that you guys had and the direction that I can go and, and what you guys were willing to teach and show. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. And you guys became a big asset to, to my business. Awesome. Wow. Yes, thanks. That's what we love to hear. Yeah. So you, your niche really is the luxury market in the Charlotte area, correct? Right, right. And frankly, the first house you ever purchased, I was thinking, what is wrong with her? She has lost her <laughs> mind. She'll never get that much because, money out of this because house. Because she was the first in the neighborhood <laughs> yeah. to do a house that size, and it turned out to be one of your biggest profit margin homes, didn't it? It was. It was, and I was thinking to myself, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> myself there's opportunity you just gotta be brave enough and I have the support mm -hmm. and I had the training with you guys how to run the numbers and you know understand the ARV understand what potential of profit and repairs and I felt really confident that it was gonna get done so and I'll tell you you always have impressed me with the vision that you have for neighborhoods you are one of the few people that can see the changes that are coming down the pike and and you really you honed in on that and i think that really came from you being a wholesaler first right being able to see what you were selling to other people i remember a hud that that you showed me of closing one time where you made ninety thousand dollars on a wholesale fee that's right ninety thousand dollars on a wholesale fee i was like man i want to be v when i grow up <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome. Well, I, I think I learned it from like the great friends that we have, like Jeff Johnson. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ninety thousand was not Jeff. Don't <laughs> <take> that back. <laughs> it was not him. Yeah. That's too funny. I'll have off with my head there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I think it was just learning and being able to sell to these builders mm -hmm. and understanding their numbers and their construction numbers. And that benefited me in my business was kind of learning how to sell and what worked for them. Right. I kind of adjusted that for myself. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, the other thing I think is so awesome about what you're doing, too, is is you you have a great design eye. And walking into any one of your houses, especially after their stage, they're just mind-blowing. But I, I think you might you might hold the world record for the largest center island i've ever seen in the house it was like a ski slope but it was unbelievable it just but just blew me away when i saw that so so what do you think it was that kind of trained you to understand that luxury market well i think i i go in as buying as a woman 
and that's what I like. Mm-hmm. That's what I like to have. I like to have nice big size bathrooms, nice big size island. Mm-hmm. So I, I almost build these homes for myself mm. and wanting another person to buy and still buy that dream that I want. And that's where how I get it. Awesome. Well, you do a great job of seeing what you'd like to have, but not doing it in weird colors like no one else would want. <laughs> <laughs> because it, that can be dangerous if, if you have a particular design in mind and then you want to do it with colors that you like and you know in this business it's it's all about being kind of plain mm-hmm. uh, but you're doing it in a way where it's it still looks great and it still has the ability for people to add to it if they needed to I, I want to go back to that first house that we were talking about though that, that house was a just a contemporary looked like a normal two-story house with a front porch and you walk in the front door and the whole house is just wide open with this beautiful giant chandelier and the big wraparound steps and the and the loft and the kitchen was just unbelievable it when you walked into the house it was a modern design when you walked back out of the house it was a you know a traditional contemporary looking two story that was an awesome vision that you had well i i think i went with the neighborhood yeah and I went you know, someone's going to want this house that you walk in and you see all this. And that's what I was thinking. I kept the colors of the what fit in the neighborhood, mm-hmm. the design of someone young in that neighborhood, because mm-hmm. that's who that's was coming was into trendy. the neighborhood and that was trendy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and it's good to follow your neighborhood Pinterest right. areas. That, that was really <laughs> smart. I remember the first time you told me that, that you were... Because I would ask you, how did you pick that light out? <laughs> you know, yeah. that light fixture was like, well, I saw it on the neighborhood of Pinterest. There were other people that put that up there. That was so smart to think of that. How did you even think to get on the neighborhood Pinterest? Well, I, you just kind of look around and who are your friends, who are your friends on Facebook, who are your friends on, you know, your real estate sites and kind of follow each other. You know, awesome. someone's got to know more than Yeah, you, right? yeah. yeah. And then I know through the through the years that we've been doing business together, I've seen you pick up partners as you go along the way because there are other people really that want to learn what you're doing. And you've been so good at giving back and taking them under your wing and, and showing them what to do, too. How have those worked out for you? Well, not all of them are perfect, of course. But. Well, you know, in business, it's, it's important to find business partners that see eye to eye mm-hmm. and page to page. And not every deal is going to always be like that, but you're going to work through it because you signed up. And right. But I, you know, I think it's been a learning lesson for both sides. So you just keep moving forward, and you kind of pull in people in your life and in your business that can help you get there, or is sure. a learning lesson. Awesome, awesome. Well, I know we talked about trendy design, but you know, your designs are trendy, but they're still timeless too. Yeah. It's not something that's, you know, going to go out of favor in a few years, and then they're going to have to remodel either because it's it's classically designed as well. And I, I re- really enjoy what you do to the okay. interior of these homes, and a lot of the places that you've built in are pretty small lot footprints, but you've been able to make the most out of the space that you have there. Mm. Me. I like a lot of space in the backyard where people can't see me. <laughs> you were um, going to say you want to pee in the backyard and nobody can see you, didn't you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he and his dog. So for, for me, I would suggest a, a fence. Yeah, a a yeah. privacy fence. Yeah, a really big bush. But <laughs> there's definitely a market for what, what you were putting together. So are there other designs, other areas you want to go into? different types of property, you know, like multifamily or anything like that? We do, and that's what we want to start doing, but I I think there's some of the projects that we have that we need to finish up this year. Um, We really love doing the moderns, and we think it's a quick sell for Charlotte. A lot of people are moving in and and are just crazy about that, and just, you know, we remember that uh, even the moderns, you still have to keep it timeless in the inside where, you know, they're not going to want to switch out their tile the next year or their light the next year or six months. Right. They're so. a little less expensive to build too, aren't they? Not not necessarily. Their windows are more. Yeah. The windows are more, yeah. sidings more. So it might save you in the trim package, yeah. but Okay. 
Nothing's cheap anymore. Yeah, that's for Nothing sure. is cheap. Not in Charlotte. Not anymore. So financing wise, you know, we're thrilled that you've chosen us to do some of your loans with. And, and you've got new construction and rehab that you've been doing. So what are some of the other ways that you're getting financed on some of the projects that you're doing? Well, other ways is, you know, to kind of gap the in between. Mm -hmm. Right. So you get a loan, you bring a partner in that can help you support your construction and also to your payments, mm -hmm. right? So you, mm -hmm. that's how you partner and you find your, your loans and always partner with a trusted partner. Yeah. And get it in writing. Get it in get writing. Get everything yes, in writing, right? Get everything in writing. <laughs> Unfortunately, handshakes aren't always... They're nothing. not what they used to be, are that's they? That's right. <laughs> that plans on cocktail napkins never work out either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. So in the bigger picture, when people are doing large syndications with multifamily or, or, or self-storage mm -hmm. where you're doing larger dollar acquisitions. You can raise a fund where it takes care of the down payment, the payments going forward, or, or what we call a debt service. That's called gap funding. Uh, until the difference. It's the same thing. I mean, you can put a fund together to do that on the, the larger dollar. And what V does is she, she brings in partners that can help her with that on some of these uh, larger properties. So it, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah. It becomes a learning experience for both sides. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to get in construction. We need the project to get done. We teach them the steps, and you know, at some point, they'll be able to do it without us. Right, we'll right. Kind of just, you know, share the the knowledge. So it's a learning experience for them. Mm -hmm. They get to make money by putting money into it, right. and they get to learn what you're doing. Right, right. So, so what are some of your biggest challenges right now? Oh, you know, I think when you get into real estate, number one in Charlotte, it's going to be finding the mm -hmm. property that you're going to work. Yeah. Because those are so Tight hard market. to find now. Yeah. Um, and also funding is always going to be an issue unless you guys have great friends and business partners like you guys. So. Yeah. If we, as long as we have money. <laughs> that's right. As long as we have money, then so do you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> well, I, I know the market changes all the time. And, you know, when we, we first got started, there was a lot of low-hanging fruit. And I know right now it's very difficult to find inventory, especially in the Charlotte market. Right. Have you thought about branching out any into some of the bedroom communities as well? I or are do. Are you trying to stay uh, focused in there? I still think that in Charlotte there is enough money and enough projects. You just got to be smart on how you find them. Mm -hmm. There is always low hanging fruit kind of everywhere. And I just feel like back then not everyone was chasing after it but now like everyone is in real right, estate or right. everyone's trying to become an investor and some deals are made and not closed you know right. people go under contract and then they fall apart and sure. it's not being closed so but i still think that there's still enough for me in charlotte mm -hmm. so are you relying on others to find you deals more or are you doing most of this yourself when I first started, it was me and, and my agent, my agent friends at Ashley Arco was you know, one of the ones that helped me sure. find some of my real estate deals. But I'm able to network. Mm -hmm. Now that I've been in the business long enough and people know that when I'm interested enough and, and I put my DD in and that, you know my earnest. That's due closing. diligence. <laughs> DD is due diligence. <laughs> so anyway, you do your due diligence. I do my due diligence and um, I mean, no, no, I forgot the question. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oh. I thought the question was, <laughs> how are you finding properties? And, yeah. So, it is. Right. So, so now properties. I'm networking. Yeah. Now yeah. it's just yeah. kind of like I know friends. They may not be able to do it or in the time is not right for them and they'll pass it along to us or we'll do, you know, the same. Kind of just goes back and forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you finding that you're going into uh, a different where the after repaired values are lower because you were doing nothing but high-end stuff are you finding that you're dipping into a lower sale price in some of the stuff that you're doing or you what's your thought on that i mean i guess you know because the scare everyone like oh the economy and everything everyone's kind of going lower but mm -hmm. i'm just kind of sticking with what i know and right it hasn't changed the properties that i'm doing it's still high-end it's still going under contract so for me i'm going to stick with what i know yeah and sell what I know and what I have and it, it is higher end but it's still working yeah 
maybe that doesn't mean it's not going to change in the next two, three years. Right. But for right now, I'm sticking with the Well, I think what sets you apart, too, is your designs are so different from what everybody else is doing. And that really stands out. So, you know, if someone's looking at two houses that are, you know, $800,000 and they walk in your house and they walk in the other one, yours always stands out. Yeah. It's it's just amazing. I think that makes all the difference in the world with, with how you do it. And I, you know, thank you. I can't take all the credit because I, I have to say it's also the person listing it. Hmm. You know, you have high end, you got to have a high end realtor yeah, that that's a knows great how point. to push that high end price, knows how to teach it, preach it, mm -hmm. sleep and think and mm -hmm. talk about it. Yeah, that's a good point. Your team, team means everything. That's true. While you're working and, and I loved your uh, promotions on, on these houses when they're ready to go on the market. You invite a whole bunch of people and have you get them all liquored up. I'm just kidding, you, have, <laughs> you you cater it. You you know. You she have, did a casino night in one of them. That have, was a you lot have of beverages fun. Beverages and uh, people talk about it. Yeah, they do. It gets out there. And you, you end up with a bidding process. And right. I don't know if it's the same now because the market has changed a little bit but you know at one time you you had people f fighting over uh, the properties which was great oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. but yeah. fortunately we're still in a, a pretty low interest rate environment which is uh, still Good. helping even the higher end stuff be more affordable and you guys still have lots of money so <laughs> it depends stop. on what day you ask day day. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I think this market too you know uh, uh, everything's coming in this direction People are moving to the southeast, and and but North and South Carolina just have a great, a great predicted growth. So you're in a you're in a good spot, and and you know our the job growth here, the companies that are coming here, we're we're in a good spot. And, and if it'll stop raining soon, maybe you can get some stuff completed. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. That would be nice. So, do you have anything else you wanted I to think, add? I think that's it. Did you have any questions you wanted to ask us at all? Oh, you know, I'm always You're like, why are we doing this to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, why are we doing this to you? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> no, I appreciate the, the opportunity of even being able, you know, to sit here and, and talk about how we built this relationship to, to work with each other. Well, this will go out to tens of people. <laughs> well, I'm glad I brushed my hair. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> enough about primping yeah <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for joining us thank you so much for coming yes, thank you. bill and wendy with carolina capital management <laughs> please like and share and yeah. subscribe yeah that, that's what i was looking for that's the word uh, carolina hardmoney.com for your friends. information yeah bye thank you very much for joining us Hope you had a good time, got a little knowledge as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like us. And if you like to see some more episodes, go up here, perhaps up here, or perhaps down here. But there's a place to press to get to the other episode. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs>